Okay, so after multiple requests, I'm going to attempt to show my loadout um, that I use for Tibia. Uh, currently, you can see the back buttons listed. I have L4, L5 is my control and shift keys. I have R5 set as spacebar, which is what I use to do my auto next target. Uh, then I have R4 as my bombs or any additional hotkeys I need during my hunts. Uh, if we go to the overall layout, um, so my A, B, X, Y, uh, those are currently set for my EK hotkeys. Um, and I just set those as function keys um, that are convenient for me uh, when I'm in the battle. So my A button, which is the easiest to get to, is my common challenge. And then I cycle through my rotation with X, Y, and B uh, according to your auxiliary, auxiliary grand, or auxiliary mass. And again, these are just general hotkeys. This is the layout that works best for me. Uh, my L1 and R1 at the top, uh, those are going to be your first buttons you get to. So my L1 is my Supreme Health Potion, uh, and currently I have my R1 for my ring swap because we were doing some hunts that required some ring swapping. Um, so I went ahead and set that for my R1, which is easy for me to access. Uh, scrolling down a little bit further, uh, just your show keyboard. I did a quick hotkey for that, so if I need to type anything in game, uh, and then my escape key. Uh, go into the D-pad. Again, these are additional hotkeys, and I just went with the function keys. Um, I did do one button cord. Uh, everything's built on one button, one action. Uh, but I did set up for a F1 and F3, which is my heal spell, as well as my mana potion. So the first time I press the button, um, it will do a mana potion. Uh, then again, the, the second time I hit the button, it should cycle and do my heal potion. Again, it's one button, one action, so I did design everything based on that idea. Uh, and then with the D-pad, I have you know, my Utito or my Utamo, depending on the hunt we're in. Uh, I have the left button as a spell of choice. Currently, I have it as my front sweep or execute, depending on solo play or team play. Uh, and then F8 being my up arrow is my ranged challenge. Uh, going over the triggers on the back, which is your L2 and your R2. So my R2 here is my mana pot. It's probably, the, as an EK, the button I pressed the most. So I made sure that was something I could easily press while I'm hunting. Uh, and then L1 is my spell, or L2 is my spell. So I pretty much alternate those at all times of hunting. R2, L2, R2, L2, R2, L2. No different than any hunting on the keyboard. Uh, in this case, I just have it set for my trigger buttons. Um, pretty straightforward on those hotkeys. Uh, the next thing which gets a little bit complicated is how I configured the movement. Um, so within Steam, they do have an option for a trackpad. So I did all of my movement keys set up to emulate a touchpad. Uh, I'll show that in game a little bit later, but what that does is that enables a location within the joystick to touch a specific button on the keyboard. In this case, I just use my WASD and all of my diagonal keys uh, to set up that display. Um, and if you can, I'm trying to see if it shows you the layout here. Uh, it does not currently. So I'll bring that up in game so we can go ahead and see what that looked like so later on, uh, possibly in another video. Um, but what you're seeing here is each one of those buttons laid out accordingly um, to be a Oh, I see that it doesn't show the whole screen. Let me zoom this back a little bit here. There we go. That should be what I'm seeing um, for the most part here. Um, so what you see here is just your movement key. So instead of it being um, an emulated WASD, what it does is it allows me to actually press that button uh, with a little movable cursor within game. Uh, the next one is my right stick behavior. So. As we all know, Tibia has an endless amount of hotkeys, so I set up what's called a radial menu, uh, and you can see that indicated here in the bottom left. Let me go ahead and scroll that down a little bit. So this would be what it would look like in game, and all that does it in is enables me to use one, two, three, four, and five as additional hotkeys. Uh, so currently, I have it set for a touch command, so when you touch the middle of the right joystick that loots, um, up is for me to eat, right is going to be my heal over time, down is going to be my haste, and currently my amulet swap is going to be left on the right joystick there. Uh, next up is trackpads. Uh, pretty basic here. I just did a right click and left click with the trackpads. Um, and let me go ahead and bring it up in game and kind of talk about those here. Uh, kind of show everybody what that looks like. 
Let's exit out and do one more thing. I think I have the display turned down for the movement keys. On screen display. Uh, we'll actually turn this up so you can see what that display looks like. Oh, that go ahead and shows it right there. So, uh, so let's go back to that. So what that does here, if you can see in the bottom left, so that enables a little kind of touchpad emulated there. Uh, then that's going to be your Q, W, E, A, D, what's that, E, or Z, X, C for movement. Uh, and when we're in game, you'll see how that kind of functions there and operates. So let me go ahead and get in game. Play Tibia. Sorry for the delay. I had to go and get my authenticator. Oh, that's not going to be good. Alright, so let me go ahead and pause it there and I will come back with another video showing the in-game layout.